Hey Cancerians, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen and we're going to tap into a love reading for you guys today. Please do remember this is general. Sometimes the roles can also be reversed. So please take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, all right? I appreciate you and I pray that this message will find all of you well. All right, let's tap in, Cancers. Okay, you have the butterfly maiden here with beautiful change and you have Baba Yaga here with patience. All right. has a wolf with her on the imagery here in this oracle card which really for me connects to cancer the fourth house the mother the moon right packs moving in packs family okay look on the bottom of the deck is her thor with soul family here you're being protected through something okay and i mean this is a love reading Okay, you're being protected through something it feels like it's moving slow but you're gonna get through it okay energy here the nine of swords okay coming out crowning the reading some of you could be dealing with the gemini page of wands okay and the lovers here you're worried about some type of communication here with your person okay again for a lot of you it could be a gemini it's stormy too yeah two of cups queen of wands the magician and the four of cups Some of you are having to pretend that you're still into someone, okay? And you're really, I don't know, uh, you're worried about them not believing you. The magician here, three of pentacles and the two of swords. Yeah, I almost feel like somebody could feel that from you too. But they might be expecting you to act and play a role too, for whatever reason, to feed their ego. Also feel like for some of you, somebody could or could have been or could be trying to hold something over your head. This person. Six of Cups, okay? Somebody you invested in, the Five of Swords. You feel like things this person told you in the past or who they showed you in the past it's not them, that it's not who they were. And now, yeah, the star, you realize this person needs a lot more healing. Could be an Aquarius with the star and the five of swords. Could also be a Scorpio with the six of cups. Okay. Queen of cups here. The four of pentacles and the two of wands. Ten of Wands in Judgment, Eight of... This person feels like they've invested way too much and wow. This is a weird vibe. It feels like this person feels as though they've invested way too much either into you or into the connection. And it's almost like they're making you repay or something. I... Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, like they put a price on love. It's very, it feels very conditional. Got to give it up. I didn't even realize that Marvin Gaye song was on. Got to give it up. Like, propositioning you? Uh, how you feeling about this person, Cancer? Okay, we got the sun out here. Could be a Leo, some of you dealing with. Page of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, again, I feel like you're realizing the truth about this person. Some of you could be feeling like this person is um, controlling. Page of Wands here, the Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. And they're very easily emotionally triggered. So some of you feel like you have to tread lightly, okay? Patience is out there with Baba Yaga. Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups here. Yeah. Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands. The Hierophant, the Tower. Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, no way. Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. This person, they do things and then they want you to get over it. Yeah, then they want you to get over it. Even if you're feeling confused and flustered and not knowing what to do. Um, 
my six of wands here, the ace of wands and the lovers. Okay, some of you want this person to like return back to who they were, right? Or show you who you fell in love with to begin with because you're not seeing that. Seven of wands in reverse, you need for this person to also work on their insecurities. It's because their ego seems pretty fragile. Like if you're not giving them attention 24 hours of the day, two of cups here, yeah, page of cups, feeding their ego who could be a little boy, okay? Meaning like that is that is who is their representative, really. A hurt, young, a younger hurt them, right? Like the younger version of them, right? So if you're dating a man, the younger, this immature or emotionally stunted boy is who you actually experience or vice versa if it's a feminine energy. You experience their wounded feminine in some kind of way, their wounded ego in some kind of way. And it's like you have to feed it or then this person expects you to feed it. What do they want from you? The four of swords, justice, and the five of wands. Yeah, tell me I'm right. Just listen. Just take it. Get over it. I'm right. You're wrong. It could be a Libra. Like, literally, I get that. Five of Pentacles, the three of Pentacles here. King of Cups and the six of Pentacles. Yes, everything has to reaffirm this person. Okay, some of you could be connected to this person still, but I'm kind of getting a lot of you are kind of removed from this. And I'll show you to that. Okay. What do you want from this person, Cancer? The Empress could be a Taurus Libra, Leo. Yeah, they got to get that temper under control. They have to. This person has a bad temper. Yup. Five of Pentacles in the Chariot. And it's like you be getting the brunt of it. Or you want it. This is not giving me good vibes. Yeah. Two of Swords, King of Cups. Their love is conditional. Okay. Or it was. Spirit is definitely saying, like, some of y'all are past this. It was conditional for you, okay? Salute. Eight of Swords. Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Listen, all right? The Eight of Swords, their intentions here, okay? To really keep you debilitated in some kind of way. All right? Um, not thinking straight. Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, being dependent on them. So really watch that for real. Okay? Now, some of you who are still in this, or again, even if this is in the past, I get this story of someone who knows that the situation that they're in may not be the best, or they're realizing, okay, wait a minute, this is becoming really toxic. But it's almost like you got to, like, you feel like you have to play a waiting game or something. Okay? <sighs> Ace of Wands, yeah, Five of Cups. It's like you're feeling like, okay, wait a minute. Like, I can't, my, my fresh start, I can't have that new start right now. Like, it's, I gotta wait this out, something. Yeah, Judgment in the Tower. It's like you gotta move smart, either with this situation or with this person. Um, why do you feel like you have to move that way? Is what's getting me. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups here. If this person has anything to do with your money, okay, this person could be very petty about it, okay? Petty about your money. Keep looking just came on, Sade. That's my girl. Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are like, let me find another job first. Let me find a job paying more money. Mm. Okay. What is going to be their actions towards Cancerians? The time of this reading. The Two of Swords here, the Hierophant, oh, and the Star. About this. The Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, I knew it, and the Three of Swords. Feels like this person's going to try to leverage something again this week, okay? Um, yeah, because that Devil and Three of Swords, they know what they're doing. Okay, I hate to, I, I don't hate to, the, you know, I, I hate to deliver a message like with these vibes, but like, let's, we have to keep it real. Okay, it could be a Capricorn, it could be a Libra here. Yeah. What 
what are they leveraging? The Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person's giving you ultimatums about something and they stress you out with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. It's like they're going to leave you with some responsibility or something. Some of you, if you have a kid with them, maybe that's what they threaten, okay? What guidance do you have for Cancerians in this situation, Spirit? The Emperor, okay? The High Priestess, ooh, and the Devil. Those are big, three big energies. The Emperor, the Devil, and the High Priestess here. Okay, with the emperor here, we're going to have to step into this energy of like being the captain of our own ship. That is the first matter. So Spirit is saying, don't overwhelm yourself. You can start small with that. Maybe that, you know, you do have patience out here. You have butterfly meeting with beautiful change, you know. Really starting to, whether this is making your own decisions, whether this is being more vocal about something, um, getting more serious about your own life, your, you know, maybe you forgot about a dream that you had, you know, this is that. Okay. The devil and the high priestess. Also not being willfully ignorant because with that three of swords, the page of swords and the five of swords here, some of you know when this person's pulling some type of manipulative tactic, okay? Um, the ten of cups here, some of you might have to open up to family, okay? Or if it's not, because I'm hearing some of you say you're not close to them, somebody that you truly trust, okay? That's not connected or attached to this person okay five of pentacles here and justice because that person might very well be able to help you out okay oh my god you got the full moon in cancer and it says let your fears dissolve Okay. let your fears dissolve and I think that's that's why that emperor energy was out here because this is gonna take courage all right that you might not feel like you have but you definitely do cancerians all right I appreciate you guys I don't know who this message is for but I do pray that it finds you well all right um, I wish you all the best and I will catch you in the next one bye